In this video, I'll show you how to use AWS Code Commit as Git repository in Visual Studio. The agenda for this video is, what is AWS Code Commit? What is AWS Toolkit for Visual Studio? And how to integrate AWS Code Commit with Visual Studio. What is Code Commit? AWS Code Commit is a fully managed source control service that hosts secure Git-based repositories. It makes it easy for teams to collaborate on code in a secure and highly scalable ecosystem. Code Commit eliminates the need to operate your own source control system or worry about scaling its infrastructure. You can use Code Commit to securely store anything from source code to binaries, and it works seamlessly with your existing Git tools. Check aws.amazon.com slash code commit for more information. What is AWS Toolkit for Visual Studio? The AWS Toolkit for Visual Studio is an extension for Microsoft Visual Studio running on Microsoft Windows that makes it easier for developers to develop, debug, and deploy .NET applications using Amazon Web Services. With the AWS Toolkit for Visual Studio, you'll be able to get started faster and be more productive when building AWS applications. Check aws.amazon.com slash Visual Studio for more information. Let's take a look at how to integrate AWS Code Commit with Visual Studio. From AWS Management Console, let's create the IAM user to authenticate the toolkit. Go to the IAM Console, click Users, and then click Add User. For the username, I'll use VS Code Commit and select only programmatic access and click Next, Permissions. Now select an existing policy to attach to the user. This policy should only contain AWS Code Commit permissions. Select AWS Code Commit Power User and click Next tag. Optional, you can create a tag and click Next Review. Click Create User, download the credential CSV file, and then click Close. Okay. Now let's take a look on how to install the AWS Toolkit for Visual Studio. From the Visual Studio computer, access the website aws.amazon.com slash visualstudio slash and click AWS Toolkit for Visual Studio, in my case 2019 version, and click download. Double-click on the installer and click Install. Open the Visual Studio. Click Continue Without Code. Go to Extensions, Manage Extensions, Enable the AWS Toolkit for Visual Studio. Close the Visual Studio and open it again. Go to Team Explorer and under Manage Connections, click Connection to AWS Code Commit. You must set a profile in order to connect to AWS Code Commit. Let's use the credentials that were previously created. Specify the profile name, and for the access key and secret access key, import from the CSV credential file that was previously downloaded. Enter the account number, and click OK. 
AWS profile has been set. Now, let's create the repository. Click Create, select the region, enter with the name of the repository, select a folder to clone the repository, and click OK. Git credentials for HTTPS connections is required to enable Git operations against AWS code commit repositories from the IDE. We need to go to the AWS Management Console and IAM. Click Users and select the user VS Code Commit. Click Security Credentials and click in Generate. Download the Git Credentials CSV file. Come back to the Visual Studio and import from CSV file and click OK. Reaccess the Team Explorer tab and let's test the Git repository. Copy some file to the local repository to simulate your app. Right click in the local repo and click Open Command Prompt. Set the email and username for the global Git configuration. Type git config global user dot email and your company email and your company mail. And then git config global user dot name your name. Update the index using current found in the working tree to prepare the content staged for the next commit. Remember that you must have Git for Windows installed. Commit and push to the master. As you can see, the HTTPS connection has been established successfully. Create a new branch and push the file to the branch. Return to the AWS console and search for AWS code commit. As you can see, the repository has been created. The files in the master branch Here is the new branch and also the file. That's it. From this, I showed you how to integrate AWS code commit with Visual Studio 2019. Thanks for watching.